About four months ago, I set a goal for myself to obtain a max cape in one year by chain leveling every skill besides the seven combat ones, totaling up to 16 skills to level up in succession. Needless to say, I'm already getting close to the final legs of this maxing journey I've set myself out on. And with that being said, the next episode will be the series finale, where I make my dreams a reality. My name is Foley, and welcome to Making Dreams Come True. I hope you enjoy, and thank you for watching. Yeah, this guy doesn't know how to pipe think I'm, I'm kind of like, I don't have any food now. <laughs> so, uh, on my last 40, 48 HP. Oh, okay. Well, you're fucked. Oh no, don't do it. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Holy, I'm dead! Oh, I'm dead, I'm dead. Oh no. Did you die? <laughs> no! Don't do it! I'm dead. Oh, I take it! <laughs> oh my god, bro. I take it on fire! Oh! <gasps> that was, uh. That was almost bad for the two of us. Right? Oh my god! Oh my god. Well, that's uh, that's, that's heart changing. Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. You ain't got nothing on okay. me next. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> okay. Continue. Carry on. Carry on. I don't give a fuck about the wash this shit. All right. Watch this, watch this, watch yeah. this. Watch yeah. this. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. I see. I see. That's a lot of damage. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not gonna say nothing, but there <laughs> might be a guy who healed next for 110 damage. Uh oh. And his name might rhyme with holy. All right, so you have to be here for my 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 verse I just wrote. Okay. Yo, I'm in Gilinor grinding all day. Day, <laughs> oh, it's hard, it's life. Don't get in my way, way. Got my full room looking all fly, fly. Room crafting levels reaching for the sky, sky. <laughs> Damn. Did you guys like it? It was actually kind of fire. Yeah. Hey, thanks. Um, can you please put that in your next intro? Hello? Hello? I'm sorry, what'd you say? I said, can you put that in the next intro? Yeah, no. You keep cutting out, what are you saying? I said... Uh, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I, I could probably work that in. Oh, next is always a good time, ain't it? But uh, yeah, this is going to be the end of the day for me. I ended up doing some thieving afterwards. 427k um experience on that as well as i did a hispori and uh, a little bit of bank standing while i was uh, at the next bank so a one mil day not too shabby okay so i was editing the last video so i've just been here fishing for most of the day and uh there is level 97 fishing i also did a uh, some agility on the mobular device earlier today so we got a good little chunk of that done probably like 150,000 xp but yep, I'm just going to keep editing this video and uh, keep on fishing. Okay, well, um, editing is done and I decided to like stick around and fish a lot more. So like my fishing is uh, over halfway to level 98 now, only 500k XP more to go. But yeah, now that uh, editing is done, I am uh, back to the room crafting grind. I also get to start using this uh, Desert Amulet 4 now, so um, I need to do another hour and uh compare the rates uh to when i was using the house teleport to the narda teleport i don't i suspect it won't be much of a difference but um it is definitely cost me less money using uh these narda teleports instead of the uh house tps okay so i reset all the uh the xp per hour and everything and it looks like we're getting about 37k an hour so i guess just like a couple thousand more xp per hour with the uh desert amulet four but um I guess those uh, couple thousand extra an hour will uh, end up adding up in the end for a uh, pretty significant amount, I would say. All right, so I ended up uh, just getting a couple hours of room crafting in yesterday. Um, it was a little over 100,000, but uh, I uh, decided to spend some time with the family and watch the Super Bowl with them. So I did a lot of agility, and we're actually getting close to level 96 now. Got 116 marks of grace from that grind, so I believe I have enough marks of grace to obtain yet another set of graceful. All right, uh, let's see. What outfit do I want this time? I'm gonna go with Piscarilius. All right, and there we go. It is acquired. I still have 62 marks of grace left, so uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. But yeah, I really do like this cape. It looks nice. All right, another day 
and another 127,000 runecrafting XP. Um, we are slowly itching away towards that level. It's, I mean, runecrafting slow at the end of the day, but I really do like it, and it is pretty good money. But my Rathrun stack is now at 69,000. Very nice. Uh, for 17.5 mil. They're actually 253 GP each right now. So uh, I'm pretty sure they are going up slowly for whatever reason that may be. Yay, level 96 agility. Bet, bet, bet. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, she didn't want it. She, oh, she wants it again. She wants it again. She wants it again. Oh my God. Oh. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh <laughs> going for it. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. She didn't. Oh, he does. He does. He does. He does. Want it. <laughs> she didn't want out of it. She didn't want out of it. And there is a level 98 fish in. Okay, let me know when you're potting. Okay, give me a sec. Got a pin in Hey, don't, 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 don't. I potted, sorry. Oh, Kind man. of a menace. Okay, go on. Go on. I'll meet you guys in a minute. I'm quick. <laughs> I'm quick. Oh, we knew you were quick. I'm toxic. What? Think of what, babe? Oh, sorry, my phone's ringing. Oh, I see. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll get that away. Oh, never mind. Be happy. I'm in a fast car. Oh, no. You didn't want fucking none of it. Jerry, you didn't trust me. You didn't trust You're the right. fucking process. You did not You're trust right. the fucking I process. <laughs> I can't fuck, Dude, after all that we've been through in the fucking duos. Oh. Did you oh my me, fucking dude? god. I'm sorry. Jer, You're right. You You're, right. You're right. You're right. I should have. I should have trusted you. You're right. That's my bad. Oh, my God. Oh, my That is not streaming. Oh, so oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, my God. And, dude, you drinking the tea makes it look like you're, you're like you're putting your head. <laughs> like you're, you're pushing my head down. Okay, well, it turns out that I was not recording, um, which is uh, my bad, ultimately. But at the end of the day, it's not that big of a deal. Um, I went ahead and did the wilderness, uh, the easy, medium hard and the elite diaries um all in one go it took a couple hours for me to do it but uh there really wasn't much to it just me you know being anxious and having anxiety while running out in the wilderness for a couple hours um yeah we got this wilderness four sword which um if i teleport with it i can go directly to the uh fountain of rune um which uh is where people will go to uh get the eternal glory so that's something i might end up doing someday but uh not today. And I put the uh, the XP lamp into agility. But I guess the uh, the benefits, like the main benefits that you'll get from the Wilderness Diaries is for uh, the medium, you'll get access to the uh, Spindle, Ardeo, and Calvarion, which are like the singles plus versions of the Wilderness bosses, which is pretty nice. With the hard tier of Diary, you'll be able to hold five ecumenical keys at a time. You actually get to choose your destination when you use the uh, Ancient Obelisk in the Wilderness, which I've never used them before, but I can see that being very beneficial if you're in the Wilderness a lot and you're trying to go to a certain place. You do not get a teleport delay in the Revenant Caves and the Wilderness Boss Caves, um, which that's actually very good to get away from PKers. I guess they, they have that locked behind diaries so that bots can't teleport away faster, I guess. You get free entry to the resource area, which is really only useful because there are um, clue steps there. And I guess there's a mining star, a shooting star that can drop over there. But ideally, you're probably not going to be mining that shooting star. But the free access to that for the clue steps is pretty cool. All the dragon bone drops from dragons in the wilderness are noted, which is, uh, I guess, pretty convenient. But that's pretty much like all the notable rewards that you get from the wilderness diary. There's there's a lot more benefits, but uh those are the main ones that I see being beneficial. But yeah, these past few days, I've really just been doing um, mainly agility, 
fishing and a little bit of runecrafting here and there. It's been a lot of agility because I, I've had a lot more phone time than really anything. And when I am on the computer, I've just been doing a little bit of next here and there trying to get my money up. But runecrafting is, uh, is slowly getting up there. It's a slow skill at the end of the day. I love it, but goddamn is it slow. But the money's good. Um, I actually did hit a hundred thousand wrath runes today which is pretty cool and i want to make it a goal that i get at least a rune pouch full of wrath runes every day so sixteen thousand wrath runes a day uh just to kind of keep the consistency of my rune crafting xp yeah at the end of the day i'm just doing a lot of skilling and uh it's kind of hard to get um good content out of skilling so uh yeah these clips are few and far between you know one of these days i'll max and i'll be able to do uh more content than just skilling but i really want to get this max cape out of the way so that i can uh venture on into more paths without that lingering in my mind guess who has enough marks of grace to buy another graceful set all right let's see this time around i believe i am gonna go with the color he is wearing the white graceful all right and there we go another graceful set down oh yeah look at that that white and black looks really clean all right there we go another rune pouch full of wrath runes and i think i am going to do a little bit of thieving now all right here we go level 97 thieving all right, gonna end that thieving experience off with 410,000 experience. I uh, I donated the boy Splash some uh, wrath runes since uh, those are the runes that he is using. I gave him 20,000 of them, which was about 4.6 mil or whatever. But uh, I I mean it's pretty worth it. Uh, Splash he he helps out a lot keeping that keeping that night steady right there. So uh, definitely saves me a lot of pain and a lot of others' pain. Uh, oh yeah we get to see him in his natural habitat look at this look at this watch him do his magic watch him do his magic he's a professional oh uh, d spear where's the d spear yeah push him back push him back oh yeah, he's too good he's too good mvp splash look at him yeah go ahead and add this guy donate all the money you can to him because uh yeah he does a lot for for us uh thieving fellows i mean if you look it, it is just flooded with people like look how many fucking people he is helping out dude this guy needs some fucking recognition i am just scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling yeah shout out to the boy splash he makes this all possible but yeah his uh his a uh, world is 322 if you're uh ever looking to uh, thieve some arty knights and uh yeah, he's usually on. His friends list is open, so just give him an ad. You can see when he's on. And uh, yeah, that's that's the best advice I can give you if you're looking to the use some arty nights. Go to this man. Oh, yes, some plate legs. That's what I'm, oh yes, that's what I'm talking about. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah, brother. Let's get us a cheeky little fucking plate leg split. Oh, baby, where are your friends? Bro, <laughs> what? <laughs> what do you mean? Where's my friend? Brother. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh yeah, him. What a forgettable face. Yeah. One hundred and seven wow. million. Thank you very much, sir. What do I do with this? I'm just gonna hold this money. Yeah, I'm just gonna to hold it for you if you want. No. <laughs> you have enough money. I see. Mister, I just bought all the max gear so I can fucking sort my bank out, make it look good. Uh, okay. Yeah. He does sound like that, doesn't he? Okay. This is okay. actually harassment, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Well, at the end of the day, we made, uh, it was actually more than 16,000 because I did a little bit of room crafting before the next trip today. So, um, I am back up to 130,000 after giving 20,000 to good old Splash yesterday. So I ended up making just about 30,000 Rathrins today on top of the good old 100 mil split that I received on them plate legs. But as you can see, I am creeping towards level 96 runecrafting. And actually, I did some agility this morning on the phone and i'm creeping pretty close to 97 agility as well. All right, here we go. I had the day off, so I... uh spent a little more of my time room crafting as you can see i got 165,000 xp today but there is level 96 room crafting i also did a, a couple other things today i did uh 
I did a little bit of construction and a little bit of a uh, hunter as well. So uh, yeah, it's a, it's been a productive day. Got quite a bit of XP in a couple different places, and uh, yeah. But I think that's where I'll end off for the night. I'm gonna gonna watch some One Piece and do some agility until I go to bed. All right, and while I was watching TV last night, I almost got an agility level, so I stopped so that I would be able to record it right now. So here is level 97 agility. Look at that. We have. 4,799 RD rooftop laps, and that is actually total level 2250, so only 27 more total levels to go. All right, and I, uh, as you can see, my inventory is uh, a little wonky, but um, if you guys have watched a video on it already, then you would kind of tell, but uh, ever since I got this Desert Amulet 4, I've been wanting to try uh, th this new Corp Beast method. Um, if you've watched the series long in the past, you do know that I did go over there for a couple of hundred, like maybe a hundred kills. Let me see. Uh, Corporeal Beast, 129 kills, maybe a little bit less than that because I have tried out this method uh, once or twice after getting the Desert Amulet 4. But pretty much the old method included uh, getting like three or four Dragon Warhammer specs and 20 something Arc Light hits, like spec hits in, and then 200 plus bgs damage in and this new method only consists of getting three dragon more hammers so it definitely saves a lot of time um getting the boss prepared for you to actually kill it but you will not be using your house uh teleport any unless you need to go bank um which i'm using house teleport anyone else could use like a crafting cape or whatever it may be but it consists of using your games necklaces to get to corp your narda um your desert amulet for teleport to get to narda to restore stats when you need it and uh yeah so this is like the setup that i have to uh oh, well let me equip the dragon warhammer this is the setup that i have um to hit the dragon warhammer specs there are better things that you could use like inquisitors and maybe a couple other uh crush bonus things that you could use but i'm this is this seems to be working fine for me and then we switch to masori and a dragon fire shield and a ring of suffering for the kill um that way you're just as tanky as possible you don't need food for this but i do bring food in for the first part of the kill that way i can stick around there as much as i can um and we use our void waker specs whenever we teleport to narda because court beast does regen health whenever you leave so by using your void waker specs when you get back in it, it pretty much negates all the healing that court beast does while you are getting all your stats and health back but yeah, I'm just going to uh, show you how I do a kill real quick. And uh, yeah, you probably won't see much of me doing this unless I just somehow get a drop. But uh, yeah, I just figured uh, to mention that this is something I'll be doing on the side whenever I'm not doing next or skilling. But first thing you want to do is you want to pre-pot, of course. I don't want to eat food, so I'll just go to Narda real quick. You equip your games necklace. And if you, uh, you know, do your swap left click, you can do it with a uh, corporeal beast and you can just teleport directly there you want to equip your amulet and when you first get there oh someone's here let me find a world okay and when you first get here uh you want piety and protect from magic on you're just gonna um walk on through let me equip all this crap here first um and when you first start setting up the kills you're just gonna want to set your cannon like right here in the middle somewhere all right there we go we got the cannon set up so we're gonna do our dragon warhammer specs and then we're gonna teleport directly to narda equip your games necklace Pray, teleport back, and then just do so until you have three Dragon Warhammer specs on the Corporeal Beast. We got pretty lucky with the first spec, and there's the second. And... Okay, we gotta go back. Alright, and there is the third. So, oh god, I uh, I clicked the wrong necklace. Okay, there we go. And once you get the third, you can just uh, pray over here. You can swap all your gear. As you can see, I have a, quite a bit of runes, and we're on Lunar, uh, on Lunar Spellbook. So what we're going to be doing is casting Vengeance along with uh, Spellbook swapping to Thralls. So you're just going to come in here, cast Vengeance. I'm going to go ahead and Spellbook swap to cast my Mage. And then we're gonna, going to unleash our Specs and then equip our Fang. And we're just, we're just going to have a good time. Um, if you're below 43 HP, you're going to want to teleport out. Um, I like to bring in food, like I said, for the first part of the kill. That way I can just stay here for a little bit longer on the first trip. And we'll, uh, we'll just, uh, once we get below 43 HP, we're just gonna go back to Narda, refresh our stats, equip our Karasi, and, uh, go back in. 
Oh, and if you do have the imbued or saturated heart, it's pretty nice to use it because, you know, it does give you those magic levels that, uh, that can help you tank a little bit more damage. All right, and there we go. There was a kill. And we got it done in about nine minutes. So, I mean, that's not too bad uh, for a Mystic Robe bottom. But, uh, yeah, you can, I mean, at my rate, I can get about six kills an hour, which uh, is not too bad at all. Considering I was probably getting three to four an hour with the old method. And you can definitely get more kills if you have a better gear setup than me. But this is just the gear I'm rocking with. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty chill. It can be kind of risky at times. But uh, as long as you play it safe, you should... You shouldn't die. And when you're done with the kill, you're just going to want to get some more games necklaces, which uh, I'm uh, running low on. I, I need to buy some more. But uh, there we go. I'll just buy. I'll just uh, cop a couple of those. You deposit all your uh, stuff and you grab another combat potion and all your food and you should be ready to go again. All right. And there's the second kill. I just wanted to get a couple kills to be able to show you all uh, show you all the method and kind of a little gander what I uh, kind of do on the uh kind of do while I'm not scaling or nexing. This is uh this is kind of my home uh for the time being uh while I solo PVM. All right, another 16,000 wrath runes complete. I have 179,000 wrath runes now. I'm actually going to go to the GE real quick and buy back those 20,000 wrath runes that I gave to Splash earlier just cuz I want to keep a count of how many wrath runes I make uh when I get to 99 room crafting. All right, there we go, the 20,000. So that puts us almost at 200,000 wrath runes. I had a good chunk of mobile time this morning. So I did a bunch of agility. And as you can see, I like chopped out like probably like a quarter of the way of 97. So uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, we are gonna keep chopping away at that when we are on the mobile or device. But it is time for everybody's favorite moment, room crafting. All right, another 16,000 Wrath Runes. That actually puts us over 200,000 Wrath Runes, which is like 52 mil right now. So uh, yeah, it's uh, going to be quite a big paycheck once I 99. All right, as you can see here, I am mining. You have not seen me mining in a while, as I have not been mining in a while. But uh, I just needed a little bit of AFK to do, so I figured I might as well uh, start edging the skill just a little bit more. Yeah, after I uh, did the room crafting and a couple Corp Beast kills, I decided to do uh, some Hunter for a little bit. Got 255,000 XP right there. I am actually going to be dog sitting uh, for the weekend. So the next clip you see of me will be in a couple of days. I plan to do a lot of agility. So hopefully I am at least level 98 agility by the time I get back. But I guess we will see in three, two one i'm back and i did end up getting 98 agility as well as 98 thieving so i just have four more skills to get to 98 now and then i can start the whole process of edging them all but i do have 553 marks of grace so that is definitely enough to get a, another copy of graceful so let's go do that real quick all right i think i am gonna go with the shazian color this time the good old red and there we go, another colored graceful set. The red does actually look pretty nice with the black in it. I do like that. But I think I'm going to end this episode off here. Like I said before, this next episode will be the finale of the series where I obtain the max cape. A lot of time goes into making these videos. So if you like the content, make sure to subscribe so you can see when I upload more videos in the future. My name is Foley. I appreciate each and every one of you, and I will see you on the next one.